Hello, welcome to the imported tutorial for iMindMap. Imports are a way for you to get files from other formats into iMindMap so you can begin mapping. To begin importing files, go to File, then select Open. You can see here in the file type all of the various different file extensions that you can import. I will begin by introducing imports from other MindMap formats. iMindMap supports imports from MindManager, NovaMind, FreeMind and iMindMap4. To import from these formats, simply select the file, then select Open. With iMindMap4 files, you will be provided with an additional dialog that asks you whether you want to keep your old styling or whether you want to apply new styling to the map. If you want Smart Layout to control the layout of your map, select Yes. Otherwise, if you want to keep your old stylings, select No. Next, we have the Microsoft Word Importer that allows you to import Word documents into a mind map. Here's a Word document I created earlier. You can see that it has a title and several headings. The title will be used as a central idea text. Heading 1 will be used as a main branch, as will the second heading 1. Heading 2 will be a sub-branch of heading 1. The regular text will be a note to heading 3 here. To see how this will be reflected in the mind map, let's try importing it. So here we have the document that I created. You can see that title is used as the central idea text. We have the first heading 1 as a main branch, heading 2 as a sub-branch, heading 3 as a sub-branch of that. You can also see that you have a note on heading 3. If we go back to the Word document, you can see that this is the regular text. Lastly, it's worth mentioning that we also support imports from XML and OPML documents. As long as the syntax and structure of these documents is correct, then they will import into iMindMap. To import them, simply select the file and select Open, as with the other imports. And that's it for imports. Enjoy importing your maps into iMindMap.